Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Glad you could join us. In Acts 13, it says David served the purpose of God in his own generation. Acts 17, it says of the early church that they turned their world upside down. In Ezekiel 22, God said, I sought for for someone to stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land, but I found no one. Our nation is still in a mess, but something has changed. In Revelation 3, Jesus said, See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. That speaks to the many who have been praying for revival, awakening, And we're going to keep on praying because testimonies are waiting to be created. A generation of youth is waiting to be born again. Dry bones are waiting for someone to pray life and breath back into their lives. Homes are waiting to be healed. Addictions are waiting to be broken. Prodigals are waiting for someone to pray them back home. And miracles of healing are waiting on someone to boldly touch the throne of grace in prayer. Will you join with me in praying for salvation, deliverance, and healing for this generation and not quit until we see it, until we see our churches being filled with those who have been far from God in this generation? Let's pray. Our Father, your name is holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. By your Spirit, enable the many who are praying to prevail in the heavenlies, releasing your purpose and will for this generation. Holy Spirit, pray through me. Help me to know what to pray and how to pray for the lost, the drifting in this generation, for those who have strayed far from God. Jesus, call more of your church to prayer. Prayers that break the chains of darkness. Prayers that bring deliverance and prayers that touch those who need healing. Lord God, hear our prayers as we cry out for this generation. And Lord, heal our land. Restore America to the ancient landmarks. Reopen the wells of revival and awakening. In Jesus' name, amen.